Okay, hello and welcome to Retro Bikes Dublin. Today we're looking at a Honda Little Cub 50. It's 2005 model. It was one that we actually brought in from Japan our ourselves originally. Sold out to a very good customer of ours. Uh, and then he sold back in because he's looking to get a newer model of the, of the Super Cubs, which we may have coming in soon enough. A little sneak peek. He's done a lot of little things though to the bike that make it kind of stand out, including this front screen. The uh, kind of matching green uh, seat you have here as well with it, as well as the uh, dual seat at the rear too, which is done in green uh, around the edges as well. You'll see the bike only has 19,000 kilometers. Front little windshield, it's got a um, grab rail for putting kind of shopping on. You've got a front rail as well. If you take the rear seat off, you also have, which is just four bolts underneath, a, you also have a rear rack. It's got a 14 inch wheels from factory rather than the 17 inch that come on a normal 50. Um, so these are ja Japanese domestic market only uh, little, little cubs, so they're very rare over here. And what they usually came in is kind of more, um, you know, uh, ambitious color schemes. So this one came in kind of a metallic green with um, kind of the white accents of the side plate panels and uh, stuff like that. And the colored uh, rear rear uh, shocks as well but um that's kind of it for the uh, little cub 50 lastly you have two keys as well we also actually have a rear rack which i'll show you in the visual analysis that goes on the back and um, that's kind of it for this little cub 50 let's move on to the visual analysis okay on to the visual analysis of this lovely uh honda little cub 50 and you'll kind of see more of all the extras that are on the bike from this angle um, it is very small uh, bike, so seat height wise, if you are a smaller individual and you're looking to start on a bike, this is going to make you, you feel very, very comfortable because your feet will 100% uh, hit the floor and it's quite a light bike, so you'll have no issues kind of dealing with uh, the bike maybe tipping over slightly if you're a bit of a beginner. Other than that, if you're a collector, they're a very collectible bike um, just because, uh, you know, they're Japanese domestic market only. 14 inch wheels is kind of something unusual and they still have the seagull arms that uh, uh, Honda 50 Cubs are known for. So starting the front tires are actually brand new tires front and rear. The alloy itself is in excellent condition so the chrome front shock here really good. Mud guards as well these are plastic and this is as well. Front rack on it is very nice condition. Honda Little Cub 50 you've got the seagull arms the integrated uh, indicators on it only 19,000 kilometers look how clean it is up here we'll show you under the seat as well which is also immaculate really really nice we also then have the um kind of a grab rail or not the grab rail but the rail that you can put your shopping and stuff on which is good to have uh, the uh, engine area on the left hand side excellent condition little bit of cracking around the screw hole of the side panel other than that very good condition still have the the um chain guards which you know how many 50s have seen chain guards taken off them and especially this kind of rubber one which allows you to um lube the chain without taking everything off the rear as well rear tire or rear tire like i said new and the um alloy itself really good it's always a good sign to see that the dust caps even on this bike have been paid attention to and um, that they have nice chrome ones as well it's always a good sign of someone that's kind of taken care of their bike tires and stuff like that is usually a good sign 2005 uh, you have a tax holder as well in around here Rear shock looking good. A lot of places, uh, if bikes when left out, 50s in general, they'll rust at the top of the shocks of the rear. Telltale sign if they've been left out for long periods of time. Exhaust is in really, really good condition. The side panel on this side as well. All very good. Exhaust up and under here, if I can get a shot of it, is in good condition as well. And you can have a look at all that. So that's the visual inspection of this Honda 50 which is in superb condition let's move on to the ride long video okay before we move on to the ride long I can barely fit this in shot here the little 50 
let's tell you about our new sponsor, Retro Bike Southern, who's New website is up and running where you can get much better pictures and videos. We've had great response in the last weeks of the new website. Much higher detail, pictures, uh, description, video, everything like that. You can go online and have a look. As also, we have two new sections, which is the uh, trade-in center where you can go in and trade your bike in and get evaluation within an hour. And same with the service center. You can go in and get an oil service, whatever you want. Select what you need for your bike and uh, also get another estimate within the hour. So check out the new website down below and uh, let's get on to the ride on. Okay, let's get on our Honda Little Cub 50 and see what she's like. I presume it's gonna be ignition on. I'll try without choke for the first few kicks and see if we get on. Kick start is on the right hand side. That's pretty good. First kick from completely dead cold. We'll let her warm up slightly. Um, you know, I really like this bike. I think the previous owner did a good job of really kind of styling her out. The green seat really kind of molds into everything and the black fairing. Makes it look a nice little bike. A nice little add-ons with the chrome, uh, dust caps and so on. Integrated front indicators are cool. These bikes are really becoming more and more popular and very, very rare now too in good condition. There's so many in really tatters, you know, that everything is rusted off them. This one is in, uh, I would say overall, a high good grade uh, of condition wise. Uh, it's not completely and utterly mint, uh, but you would be looking for maybe another 500 or extra 750 quid on top of the price for something like that. So, seesaw gears so if you haven't done that before it's very very simple you uh let me just adjust the rear mirrors here it's very very simple you have your gears down here one two three it even tells you on the dash when to change and off you go and that's it now you're uh, you're up and flying I prefer these over the standard Twist and Go 50s, to be honest. Uh, just because they do have a bit more speed to them. I'm so familiar with the gearing system that you can kind of wring its neck and uh, get the most out of it. But uh, say hello to him. And into second gear. Because it tells you right there when first gear ends. Turning left here. You also have the kind of warning, or not warning, I should say, but uh, noise for um, the indicators being on, is which is good, so you don't leave them on too badly. It is quicker than a standard, you know, 50cc twist and go, which is at, you know, 45 kilometers an hour. You'll probably get 60 out of this thing. And we'll just pull in here. And we'll move past. Say hello to him. He's doing a, a turn around there. We're doing 45 kilometers up the hill. I should probably be in second gear. And we move up and around. We'll do the little bit of a turnabout. Uh, me being as uh, just nearly six foot two, uh, I can fit on the bike. I wouldn't say I'd be incredibly comfortable for long, long periods of time, but you know, a short journey in and out of town, 15, 20 minutes either end, which is all you're going to be kind of doing on these type of bikes, is absolutely perfect. I'm going to wring its neck up to right up to the second gear, and we're going to go flat out through the here. 50 kilometers an hour, 55 kilometers an hour, coming up to 60. We would make it there, but I've run out of road. We're going to turn out left here, pop her into second gear, rev matching for her as you can as the bike just goes into just about neutral before going into second gear you can hit a bit of a rev matching if you're uh, used to these uh, seesaw gears so uh, that's kind of it now really with this little ride along what we're going to do next now is we're going to move on to uh, in the next area where we do uh, the electrics of the motorcycle so we run through indicators brake lights front headlamps everything like that just to show everything is working we have full transparency here at retro bikes dublin which is uh, the only dealership in ireland that does that so up in here and we're turning left let's get in here 
and put her on the main stand as we sit down here and we're going to pull into the left and I'm going to stick her into first gear and then bang into neutral. Ticking over nicely. You can usually hear the sound of a bike um, based on its, uh, you know, how good a bike based on its idle. You know, it's very, very quiet, ticking over really nicely, consistent idle as well. So let's get a little picture of her. <sighs> Have to bend down nearly to get her. You can see the front headlamp is working. I'll show you the indicators now. Rear left indicator working nicely. Front left indicator working nicely. Front right indicator working. Rear right. We can see the brake light turning on when I do the brake. We have the horn, which is working as well. And we'll do high beam and low beam. So high beam is there and low beam is there. Again, when you rev the bike up, they get a bit brighter. So that's been it for the little review on the Honda Little Cub 50 with 14 inch wheels. If you have liked it, please do leave a like, comment and subscribe. If you do want to reach out to our socials, they are at Retro Bike Subman for Facebook and Instagram. And our brand new website that you should check out with a link in the description below is up and running for you to have a look at. So thanks for watching and uh, see you the next time.